Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at Mandri for 2011, the release candidate, or the first release candidate, I should say. Um, the second release candidate is due out on July 27th, and the final release of Mandri for 2011 is due out on August um, 29th of 2011. Um, so let's um, get stuck into it. Uh, so we have our menu in the bottom left corner, I'll take a look at that in a second. We have um, the Dolphin File Manager, which is quite a nice um, file manager, and, um, you know, uh, they have customised it a bit. You know, it's really um, user-friendly. Um, Mandriva sort of has a Mac kind of feel. I'm not saying it looks anything like Mac, though, um, you know, it's just um, very usable. That's what I mean. Um, so we have Firefox. Let's see which version it is. It's probably Firefox um, 5. Yep, yeah, sure is. Um, and it looks like, um, yep, yeah, uh, Copet, the Instant Messenger. We have um, Thunderbird. Uh, we have Clementine um, as the music player. So you can play m uh, music files that are on the computer or um, listen to internet radio stations and it supports some um, certain devices. I still need to check whether or not it supports iPhones and iPods, etc. Uh, configure your desktop. You know, just the um, standard configure your desktop panel. So common appearance and behaviour, workspace appearance and behaviour. The Mandriva Control Center, uh, Network and Connectivity Hardware and System Administrator. Um, I read something about the Mandriva Control Center being updated, so let's quickly check Mandriva System Services. Okay, that's not very exciting. Mandriva Users and Groups. Oh, that looks a bit different to um, how a lot of um, other distributions um, allow you to create um, users and groups and modify them. So I'm not sure if that's what I read about. Um, and we have a couple of folders here, uh, documents and downloads. Um, you know, they sort of open, um, you know, um, in the taskbar. I'm not sure what um, Mandriva calls them. So they also obviously have the same sort of thing in Mac OS X. Uh, what do we have here? Clementine's Minimized, uh, Help Desk Agent Spear, uh, Client Power Sync, I'm not completely sure what that is. Uh, the Clipboard, Volume Control, uh, just the Networking, um, Device Notifier. Uh, we have the Time, which is currently wrong, I won't worry about changing it. The Calendar, uh, we have the Raced Bin which is currently empty. Okay, a couple of problems there. Uh, yep, and this appears to be using um, KDE. And now let's take a look at the menu. I believe it's called the live menu, or I presume it's called the live menu. Um, I, have, I have not seen this in any other distribution before, so I presume that it's um, unique to Mandriva. So we have um, recent applications at the top, we have places in the middle, I like how um, it, you know, moves when you scroll, you know, move the mouse across. We have recent documents, applications, which are split up into the categories, internet, offers, graphics, sound and videos, and tools. We have a nice um, search bar at the top, which seems to work well. So I quite like this menu, um, it looks um, pretty functional. And they've all disappeared now. So yeah, it looks um, pretty functional. Um, you know, I definitely prefer it over, you know, GNOME 3 and all of that. You know, their menus. GNOME 3 and um, Unity. Uh, we have a time frame. Home, photos, video, documents. Um, I imagine... Um, it well, must integrate with all of these um, different things. So maybe if you save um, a photo, it gets the date and it puts it into the timeline. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, no, definitely it's a um, unique menu. So let's actually go through all of the applications quickly. So for internet, we have Blue Devil. I'm not sure what this application um, is. OK, 
Okay, we'll just wait for that to open. We have Chocock, KDE Micro Blogging Client, Firefox Sam 5, KGit Download Manager, KNet Attach, uh, Conqueror, Copetti, uh, KPPP, KPPP Internet Dial Up Tool, KRDC Remote Desktop, KRFB Desktop Sharing, KTorrent, um, BitTorrent, Mozilla Fire, oh, sorry, Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, we have a network center. Scroll down, we have, you know, the whole um, LibreOffice um, set of programs, the word processor, spread, uh, calc, spreadsheet, impress presentation, draw drawing, document viewer. Um, you know, all the standard ones that um, all the distributions have nowadays. Um, Gwenview, K Color Chooser, uh, Color Paint with a K, K Snapshot, um, Shot Will. Uh, for sound and video, Clementine seems to be the main um, music player. K Mix Sound Mixer, Pulse Audio, SMP Player, or SM Player, uh, PTV um, Video Editor. So they do have a wide range of different applications, some that other distributions don't have out of the box, which can, you know, come in handy. And under tools, you know, configure your computer, configure uh, your desktop, let's check out configure your computer. Maybe this is the updated um, control panel they were talking about. Um, it looks um, very similar to the running PC Linux OS, which I last um, made a video on. Um, so we have software management, install and remove software, update your system. Uh, you can configure um, the frequency that your you know your system is updated. Um, configure the um, installation sources repositories, I presume. Access to extended maintenance. Uh, so we have hardware, network, and internet. Uh, system network sharing, local disks, security, and boot. Uh, and what else? Just Dolphin, K3B, um, disk burning, KR and R tray screen resize and rotate. That looks interesting. Uh, K time tracker, personal time tracker, K wallet, Nepomark, um, NVIDIA display settings, Pulse Audio preferences, system monitor, system testing. Welcome to System Tester. Please register to proceed. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, uh, Jovi, what's Jovi? Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to open or not. I should also point out that I'm just running it off of, um, you know, the ISO image. It's not currently installed. Um, Acon did tray. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we have Arc, the archiving tool, um, KCalc, Clipper, KNotes, um, console with a K, KWrite, the option to um, actually install it and the regional settings. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really show you. Um, though a few of the applications aren't opening up, I presume because I'm running it off of the ISO image and it's not actually installed and, you know, you know, not fully updated and doesn't have the guest editions, you know, all the usual reasons. So, um, I quite like, um, the distribution overall. I really like, um, the feel of it. It's got a very, um, simplistic, user-friendly, um, feel to it compared to a lot of, um, Linux distributions. Um, it has a unique menu, which I quite like. Um, you know, you know, I... You get sick of the old menus where you scroll, where you um, scroll um, through category, category. You know, it's a bit more time consuming than this style of menu. Um, so I would highly recommend um, checking it out um, and installing it if you like it. Um, that's pretty much it um, for this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. And thanks for watching.